Hi, this is Matteo from Connecting Software, and today I will be showing you how to install Exchange Server Sync. CB Exchange Server Sync handles the synchronization and migration of data between Microsoft Exchange servers. We have CB Exchange Server Sync available in both SaaS and self hosted versions. In this video, I will walk you through the steps involved in performing a self hosted installation. Before installing Exchange Server Sync, you will need four items Erlang or OTP. I will be using version 26.0.2 in this guide, RabbitMQ, the delayed message exchange plugin for RabbitMQ, I will be using version 3.12 in this guide, and finally SQL Server 2019. All of these files will be linked in the description below. Once you have all the required files, you are now ready to begin. Firstly, we are going to be installing OTP as RabbitMQ needs this to be installed before it installs. Be sure to tick the Microsoft DLLs box even if it says they are present, as sometimes it reports a false positive, so install them just in case. You can then hit next until the program installs. Once that is done, we will install RabbitMQ. Just click next and install. For this program, it is very straightforward. Leave the Start Rabbit MQ Service box ticked and click Finish. Next, we're going to install the plugin into Rabbit MQ. Take it from the desktop and drag it to one side so we can move it easier in a moment. Open a Windows Explorer window and head over to the C drive, Program Files, Rabbit MQ Server, then your Rabbit MQ folder, and then Plugins. And drag the plugin into the right side of the folder until it says Move to Plugins. After moving the file, we are going to quickly rename it and remove the version number. This will make it slightly easier to install. Copy the name of the file by going into the rename function once more and either right clicking and selecting copy or hitting Ctrl and then C on your keyboard. After copying the name of the file, we can navigate back one folder and navigate into the sbin folder. Once we're in the sbin folder, click on the small URL bar at the top and type CMD. This will take us to the exact folder in the command prompt where we can enable the plugin we've just dragged in. Start by typing in this command. Followed by this command. Then hit right click to paste the name that we have just copied into the terminal, then hit enter. Once the plugins have been enabled, we are going to enter one final command, that is RabbitMQ service restart. That will put all of our changes into effect. Good, the difficult part is now complete. You may now close all of the windows we had open. We will now install SQL Server 2019. Here we will choose a custom installation because there are a few things that we will need to change. Hit install and wait. Once it finishes, a new window will appear. Once this window appears, click on the first option all the way on top. Accept the license and hit next. Wait for the application to do its thing. And once we reach this window, hit next. Here is where we start to change things. On this window, uncheck machine learning services and language, followed by full text and semantic extractions, then click next. Hit next on this screen and the one after. Once we reach this point, we will select mixed mode authentication. Enter a password you would like to use for the user and hit next to complete the installation. Once it finishes installing, we can now close all the windows and move on to the installation of Exchange Service Sync. Before we do that, we are quickly going to start a service that's going to make our life slightly easier during the Exchange Service Sync install. Head over to the Start menu, type Services, and hit Enter. Look for the SQL Server Browser service. Right click it, go to the Properties, and set the startup to automatic. Close the panel and click Start. That's it, we're done with the service now. Ready to install Exchange Service Inc. Hit next, then next again. And once we reach this window, we're going to uncheck PowerShell 3.0 
and .NET Framework 4.7.2 if it is checked. Install anything that pops up and if it asks you to reboot your computer you can click restart later. Windows that say modify may appear throughout the installation. That means that whatever you're trying to install is already installed and is fine to close or cancel that particular install window. Accept the license agreement and carry on with the install. Here we will click generate certificate and once we reach this window we will need the SQL Server password that we set up not too long ago. If you restarted the service in the previous step, the SQL Server name will automatically be populated. But if it's not, your SQL Server name will be the name of your machine followed by a backslash and SQL Express. Once all of the details have been entered, you may click next and it will connect you to your SQL Server. On the screen, we will need to set up two different databases for both our portal and engine. To create the database, simply type the name into the field and hit next. Give these databases relevant names so that they are distinguishable from one another. The next window is for the RabbitMQ connection. If we have set everything up correctly prior, nothing needs to be done with this page and we can just go ahead and click install. Once the installer finishes, you can click close and the portal will open automatically. Depending on your system configuration, you may get an error like this. This is nothing to worry about as we can get past it by just going to the URL bar and adding HTTPS before the local host. And that's it. Exchange Server Sync is fully installed and ready to configure. I hope that you found this video helpful. Keep well and see you next time.